This is Mr. F, who has joined me today. He's actually came back for a different procedure today, but we're following up on a genicular nerve ablation, which is a procedure where we heat up and uh, cauterize the nerves that go to the knee. And the reason we do is because a growing number of patients are having knee replacements, and about 13% of those knee replacements result in still disabling knee pain in one year, which is a big number. Some around 100,000 Americans are left with uh, disabling knee pain even though they've had a knee replacement. And so um, Mr. F presented to me, he had his knee replacement, it recovered, everything was in alignment, looking good. But we did a diagnostic block of the genicular nerves under x-ray and he got pretty good relief. And then we came back and we did an ablation. Now, prior to the ablation of the genicular nerves, Mr. F, zero to 10, what was your knee pain, would you guess? 10. A 10, good. And you're better, you're not all the way better, but what would you say your zero to 10 pain in the knee is now? About three. A three, so it dropped a lot. Yes. Now, tell me a little bit, so what were you told by your orthopedist, and please don't use any names, but um, what were you told by the orthopod? I mean, you said, you saw him after your knee place, and he said what? No, everything was fine. Okay. I mean, it's gonna take time. It's, it's eight years since I've had this, the surgery. And uh, we, 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 uh, a year ago, we had the clean out behind the kneecap. Okay. And from that pinpoint on, the pain started to get very severe. Okay. And I dealt with it. I had a hip replacement about three months after the mm -hmm. knee uh, surgery. And it got very bad. Gotcha. It got very bad. And we didn't know if it was the hip or the knee. And you were able to figure out which one was the, the cause of the pain. And uh, through a series of tests, I, two weeks ago we took the abrasion, I guess it's called. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, uh, I have to say, it's seventy percent cured. That's good. I'd like it to be better, but I would too. But we'll take seventy. Is pretty good. It's good. It's, it's uh, good. I'm able to do things that I wasn't able to. Just going down on the floor, picking up something, it's, it's much easier than it was before. That's good. That's very very good. So I didn't realize it's eight years. You've been in this kind of pain for eight years, huh? Uh, I would say the last, I've had some pain for the last eight years, but the real pain started last year. Gotcha, okay. Uh, or two years ago, I would say. And uh, it got considerably worse. Yes. Uh, we had the knee cleaning out, and then we had to go have the hip replaced. Yes. And uh, from there on, it was a year of being handicapped. Wow. Okay, well, would you recommend this to others? Absolutely. Right on. Any cautions or words of wisdom? You know, what caution is when you relieve yourself of pain? Yeah. It's a little pinch here, a little pinch there. You say, you're doing fine, it hurts, but yeah. I'm doing much better today. That's great. Terrific. I appreciate your willingness. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.